Hi everyone, I'm Srikanth. So let's quickly make a connection between AWS Postgres, which is on RDS, as well as Snowflake uh, account, and quickly transfer the data from Postgres to Snowflake using Fivetran. So Fivetran is a cloud-based data integration platform. It enables the sync between the various data sources and the data warehouse in an effortless and an automated integration way. So let's quickly go through the prerequisites. Okay, so here is a little bit of uh, architecture that I am trying to explain you here. I have my database, which is a relational database hosted on Postgres, AWS RDS. Okay, and the destination is Snowflake, Snowflake, uh, which is quite pretty empty. I don't have any databases on Snowflake, right? And I want to establish a connection between these two uh, data warehouse as well as the data source and make a connection using Fivetran and make the sync between these databases, right? So Fivetran is the has connectors to pull data from AWS uh, Postgres and then load it or push it onto the Snowflake. So here we need to like establish a connection. It, that means that we need to provide the uh, what do you call uh, the credentials of both Snowflake as well as AWS into a Fivetran and Fivetran is the one who makes the calls between these two uh, I mean entities and makes the data sync happen. All right, here is my Snowflake account. As you can see, I have only the sample uh, Snowflake and the Snowflake sample data databases, right? And uh, let me create a new database over here. And uh, okay, for simplicity purposes, so I'm just creating a sample database over here. And uh, right, the database is created. Go ahead and sync the right. Okay, as you can see, I have an empty database met INSDB that got created over here. And coming to the data source, as I have mentioned, I have maintained the data source in Postgres. Okay, so this is how my data looks like claim master, activity, observation, diagnosis, and remittance. All these tables are linked using their primary key attributes okay, and primary key and foreign key attributes. And the total count of uh, rows in each uh, table are sum up to something like this. Okay, so my agenda would be to transfer all these tables along with their source, along with the database, along with their uh, rows onto my Snowflake database. So let's establish, <coughs> so let's establish a connection between connection using Fivetran. So as you can see, this is my Fivetran uh, account and uh, I would need to establish a connection between Snowflake as well as Postgres. So I would be adding a destination All right, here, as you can see, uh, choose the destination. These are all the available destinations that Fivetran supports as of now. Let me choose Snowflake over here. This is the place where we have to provide your URL for Snowflake. Let's make sure that the URL enter is snowflakecomputing.com. That is the default port. Coming to the user. So this user should be the one who who has access or who has a role that has access to the database, particular database that we have created, along with all the privileges which will enable the user to perform activities like addition, like insertions, updations, or basically all the DML operations. This is the new database that we have created. The password. Role for simplicity purpose, I'm just mentioning my default storage or my default processing is in Asia Pacific AWS is the cloud provider and I'm hitting on the save and test as you can see the connection has been established with the destination Now we have to establish the connection with the connector or with the source. So let's say add a connector. This is the destination that we have just created. 
and these are all the sources that are available using which we can do a connection for our purpose we have this yes all right coming to the destination schema prefix so this is the schema prefix using which Fivetran creates a new schema in your destination DB. As you can see here, we have public as well as information schema. So the new tables that, will, that get created will be created under the new schema, which will be pre prefixed using the prefix that we mentioned here. Okay, all right. Let me mention it as coming to the host. The host would be your endpoint URL that is existing here on your AWS. Here, the default port is like 5432. Coming to the user, this is the user in which I created the database. Password to log in into your database, the database as well. Coming to the connection method, there are two connection methods connect directly and connect via SSH tunnel. If in your organization, uh, you need an SSH tunnel to get connected. Please get the tunnel created and you can use that option as well. Here for simplicity purpose, I'm using connect directly and coming to the update method, which is the incremental uh, uh, load methodology. So I'm selecting Fivetran and teleport sync, which is a proprietary uh, incremental method of uh, Fivetran. I have created another video where in which I explained all the different types of incremental methods, incremental methods. Let's go ahead and save and test. For certification validation, please select uh, the required validation certificate and proceed further. So here we go, congratulations, and our connection tests have passed. And here, as you see, your Fivetran is reading your data source and trying to get all the schema details. As you can see, these are all the schema details that are available. I have two, two schemas. One is a demo schema as well as a public schema. I can show it to you over here. I have a demo schema as well as a public schema on my RDS. Both of them have been successfully created or copied into my Fivetran. I don't want to sync my public schema, so I would uncheck this. And coming to the table level, here you can see the list of all the columns that are available under each table. Here comes under the activity table, activity ID is the primary key. So at this level, if you don't want any of the tables to be synced, you can uncheck those particular tables. Or if you don't want a particular column not to be synced, you can uncheck the particular column as well. Right. Uncheck and this act net price will not be synced. As of now, I want everything to be synced as a raw data. So let me hit save and continue. Here, I would be selecting allow all to act to transfer all the new schemas and the tables and the columns as is into my destination and here is where i would be starting the initial sync you can view, view it at an hourly basis the initial sync and everything as of now the sync has started if you go ahead into the setup and you can see the sync frequency as well so here you can perform the sync frequency at as least as five minutes to as as 24 hours as well okay so let's keep it as a 30 minute sync so as you can see the extraction is happening between claim activity table 5 of 5 you can check the logs as well and verify whether the sync is going on properly or not there we go. The sync is completed and the next sync will be in another 27 minutes. As we have mentioned, the sync interval to be every 30 minutes. If you can clearly look at uh, the sync timings and everything, yes, the load volume is like 3 MB, right? And the process volume is like 2 MB and the status is completed. It took a total of 1 minute 30 seconds to complete this whole sync. So let's go ahead and check in our uh, data, warehouse, data warehouse and see how the sync appears here. Let's go ahead and refresh it. 
yes and we see ft underscore pg the prefix that we have mentioned in our fight train and the demo schema that we have done this thing let's go ahead and look at the tables that have got added up yes we see a list of all the five tables as well as one additional table called fivetran audit so this is the table that gets created added by fivetran which actually maintains the list of all the transactions that are happening or how many tables have been added what is the the hash map that is uh, that has been maintained to transfer the data and everything will be all be maintained with the fivetran audit table at the same time every table would be having the list of all the columns that are added at the same time they will be having two more additional columns five turn deleted and five turn synced so these are the five fan uh, uh, related uh, columns that get added which actually maintain the uh, incremental data load uh, data uh, related uh, information this will be at each and every table level all right so let's go ahead and see how the tables look like ft underscore pg let's use the database show schemas yes we have these schemas let's use this schema okay and uh, see whether data that got loaded in claim master yes we have almost all, all the data let's run along with that i mentioned right fight run deleted and fight run sync are the two more additional columns that get added at each table level let's try to look at the count of rows that got added at added for all the tables so here you go and see like this is the list of uh, uh, this is the total count of rows that were added. Let's try to cross check it with our source, and you see the same amount of rows have got completely transferred in from source to our destination. All right, okay. So, claim master, let's try to look at claim master and seeing these two additional columns as well let's try to look at what is there in factor audit yes, factor audit as i have said maintains a list of all the transactions that have happened all list of all the tables so these are the list of tables that got moved and this is the start time and this is the end time okay number of rows that got updated at for each table all right then so this comes to a closure of uh, how to make a sync between Postgres RDS as well as Snowflake using Fivetran. So friends here, this is the this is what we have done right now. AWS RDS Snowflake using Fivetran. And this is the prerequisites. This is how we connected to our source, uh, to our destination. And this is our source. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching.